Good morning, sports bettors. It's uh, Matt Modi with Dodge Jam, and we got about 10 MLB games today, which means we have a big slate to choose from to find our MLB best bets. And that's, excuse me, exactly what I will be doing in this video. Um, just to do a little bit of a recap, uh, both on myself, how I did, and then as well as the expert profit tracking picks sheet is going. Um, for me, small, small profit last week up about 90 bucks. Um, what I will say is if you look at it from a daily perspective, the fact that I ended up was pretty good because I had uh, some pretty rough weeks in the middle of last week, but I was able to get it all back at the end, which was nice. So the fact that I was able to make a profit was pretty good. Uh, what I will say is majority of that was with the WNBA and I had a little bit of a down baseball week. I think I was down 500 in baseball. So if you take out the 90 bucks in profit, that's about up 600 specifically with the WNBA. And then regarding the profit, the profit tracking sheet, this all comes from the uh, Odds Jam Discord. So if you check out the link to uh, check, out, check out the links in the description of this video, uh, we have the Discord posted there. Uh, the Discord has some free stuff, but everything that is being tracked is stuff that is in the expert or prize picks paid section. So the expert picks. We're slowly getting back to the green. Uh, we had a good day yesterday up about, I think four and a half units, three and a half units, something like that. Um, we had a pretty good week overall. If you just look at the 25th down, we were up uh, about 5.13 units. So kind of similar to how my trajectory went, started the week slow, ended up with a profit, which is good. Uh, Price Picks is doing well as well, up about two units. And they had three plays yesterday going two and one profiting 1.25 units. So if you do want to join the Discord, you can in the link in the description. This is all this information. All these picks are posted in the Discord, tracked in the spreadsheet. So very open for everybody to see how well we're doing or some days not doing well at all. Um, and the logic being for these paid picks, we understand that not everybody necessarily has the time to you know go in and line shop and check all the markets and find the best bets. So we figured we would provide an avenue for Alex and Randall and I, who it's literally our job to do it, uh, to provide these picks for you. So the goal is for everybody to start cashing together. Um, it was started rough, but we're getting back in the green, so close to getting in the green. So um, most of my WNBA picks, most of Alex's tennis, UFC, and our baseball picks go in these prize picks or odds jam, odds jam expert picks. So definitely recommend checking that out if you do want to join. Um, and then I'll get into um, my free picks. But everything you see here on YouTube or on my social media like Twitter or TikTok or whatever is going to be posted. Um, it's going to be a free pick. So let me refresh this page, make sure I have the most up-to-date data. So 10 uh, MLB games to choose from. I found two um, picks that I really, really like. One was a total pick. One was a player strikeouts. And the player strikeouts that I like is this Logan Webb under four and a half strikeouts. So um, the play, the bet is at plus 100 on FanDuel. The odds jam line prices this at minus 119 with the VIG removed. It's priced at about minus 103 and only 30 cents in market width. So all in all, despite it being lower EV at 1.62%, I still do think that this is a pretty good bet to take. So this is just gonna be a small one unit play for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put 50 bucks on it place bet and we're good to go so let's chat about it for a little bit so to talk about all these numbers and stuff that i uh, talked about the odds jam line as everybody knows is pulled from the sharpest sports book in the world in terms of pricing odds but before you can do anything it's really important to remove the vig which prices this at about minus 103 if we round yeah minus 103 um the, the removing the vig is really important because um Sports books, the way they make their money is by charging the VIG, by pricing up odds a little bit. Uh, I like to call it the tax that sports books price odds. So essentially, the way it works is for, you know, standard minus 110 odds that everybody sees each way. Like if you're just scrolling through a sports book, you'll see minus 110 a lot. Um, so the math behind that is if you bet 100 bucks and your bet wins on a minus 110 odds play, you will profit $90. So you risk 100 to profit 90 but if I bet 100 bucks on one side, you bet 100 bucks on the other side. No matter what happens, the sports book will profit $10 from those two interactions because they'll pay out the winner 90 bucks and they'll keep 100 bucks. And that's for minus 110 
each way. So that 10 bucks multiply it by hundreds of thousands of bets across even more people and more money. And you start to understand that's how they make all their money, right? So in order to get an accurate representation of what sportsbooks price odds at, it's really, really important to remove the VIG and get an understanding of exactly uh, what these sports books are truly viewing a market at with the VIG removed. And one way in which we can measure confidence is by checking out the market width. Um, so market width, the logic behind it is the closer the two numbers of the odds jam line are together, the more confident they are in what they're pricing odds at. So 11 plus 19 equals 30. This one has 30 cents in market width. And for a player prop, I kind of look at 35 to 40 range in below. So this one being at 30 is really, really good. Um, so all in all, this equates to about a 1.62% profit margin. Uh, the profit margin, this number here, can also be viewed as your percent edge. Basically, the greater the difference between the odds jam no big odds and the FanDuel odds equals a higher edge, higher profit margin, stuff like that. But even ones that have a lower percentage are still ones that are, I think, can be really, really valuable plays like this one here. And one thing that I find fascinating about sports betting and odds particularly is all odds are going to have an associated win percentage with them. They all have an associated win percentage. So minus 103, if you wanted to find out what that equates to in terms of a win percentage, you just need to click this calculator and it tells you here. So just under 51%, 50.8%. And the odds that we're betting it at are plus 100 on FanDuel, which everybody knows plus 100 equates to a 50% win percentage. So if we back that out a little bit, we're placing a bet on something that we think will win. If I place it 100 times, 1,000 times, it'll win 580 times based on those odds. But I only need it to win 500 times in order to break even. So that gap between the 50.8 and the 50, that is positive expected value. So even if the bet doesn't win 50.8% 50, 50 of the times, if it wins 50.5, 50.6, we'll still be profitable from that interaction. So that's another way the 1.62% profit margin kind of makes sense. So all in all, from a math perspective, I liked this one. Um, so I did a little bit of research into this. So I used the Odds Jam app, the Odds Jam Props app, available on iOS if you want to download it, Mac, iPad, iPhone, uh, Mac desktop, Mac laptop. Um, it's basically just a player historical data. It gives you how well a player is performing historically on a specific prop. So Logan Webb is the strikeout pitcher that we're uh, taking his under. So I just type in his name, Webb. I go to strikeouts. And what we see is he's actually trending above this number. So if you look at his last, um, his full season, he's gone over this a 14 of 21. His last 10, 7 of 10. His last 5, 3 of 5. So you might be wondering why exactly is this one a good bet? The reason is because the opponent he's facing. So he's going against the Dodgers. Um, and if you do a little bit of research into the Dodgers, so Logan Webb played him uh, just about less than a, a little over a week ago, Friday this 22nd, and it was a 5-1 loss for the Giants. He went six innings, had allowed five hits, one earned run, and only had two strikeouts. And if you just look at the Dodgers in general, so I, what I, I literally, this is fan graphs. This is something that is uh, sponsored by MLB. Look at the team's strikeout percentage. The Dodgers are one of the, uh, like the 20, have basically the 21st out of 30 in terms of strikeout percentage, which means they're in the lower third. So the Dodgers don't strike out that often. So I think that his over strikeout is probably being a little bit overvalued because of um, how he has been projecting and trending recently. So I do think we can find some value there. So I love looking at this Odds Jam Props app. It's just important to understand that it context is everything and looking at historical data and projecting forward isn't necessarily the only way to go about things. You need to look at the math first and foremost. The math is the most important part of everything. So all in all, um, I did think this was a good bet. That's obviously why I put a full unit on it, one full unit, 50 bucks. The next play that I liked was this Nats um, Mets under. So the bet here, pretty heavily juiced, minus 160 at bet MGM. Um, but minus 165, no big odds. So there's a pretty pretty sizable gap between the no big odds and the bet that we'd be placing it at on um, bet FGM. 22 cents in market width, so everything checks out there. And I just like, look again, looking at the pitcher matchup, we see in this Mets uh, Nationals game, Corbin 
stinks. He's a bad pitcher, but he's actually pitched well against the Mets, surprisingly. And on the other side of the mound is Scherzer facing his old team. So the odds are pretty heavily juiced getting it at minus 160 under nine and a half. But I do think that it's pretty good when you look at those two factors. Um, and if you just look at how every other book prices this, no other book is pricing it below minus 175. So the win percentage of the odds jam no big odds minus 165 equates to like 62.25. So this bet, and we're paying it with the odds, but has a pretty high chance of hitting. So to me, this is worth a two unit bet because of the juiced odds. So let me go ahead under nine and a half minus 160 on bet MGM, 100 bucks. So let me go ahead and lock this one in. So basically, um, two units on here and we are good to go. So these are going to be my two plays. So now let me just add them to my bet tracker. So I put 50 bucks on Logan Webb to go under, and then I put 100 bucks on this game to also go under the Mets Nationals, click save. And the bet tracker is important because this information that you saw at the beginning of the screen, everything here is pulled from the iStand bet tracker. So it's really important, I mean, to see the, the data that I ended last week up after how poorly the week started was good to see. And all this information comes from the iStand bet tracker, which is also free to use. So go to iStand.com bet tracker bets, check it out. I definitely recommend, even if you're not paying for the service or even the paid Discord picks, it's really, really important to track your bets and understand where you're profitable, where you're not, and what you can do better. So I would highly recommend tracking all your bets using the iStand bet tracker. Let it do all this information for you. And that's going to be it. That's going to be all I got. So let me know if you guys are tailing. Again, I got two bets, both unders Logan Webb, under strikeouts, Nats, uh, Mets under nine and a half runs. And that's going to be it. So I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.